Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here. Now, I want to just inspire you today with this video. And uh, really, I, I didn't actually create this report, but I, I um, one of our one of our enterprise DNA experts, Brian Julius, did. Uh, and I just think it's so uh, fantastic that I want to highlight it to you all uh, and just show you what you can do with Power BI. I do not believe that there is any tool that is, is as versatile and flexible in the way that you can not only analyze your information, analyze your data, but also just visualize it, right? With Power BI, you can literally build these comprehensive reporting applications, these reporting solutions that would honestly be able to, you know, historically, would honestly have cost you tens of thousands of dollars and you can literally do it with a tool that costs you $15 a month. It's it's truly amazing how democratized the ability to create these reporting applications actually is. And all it takes is a bit of creativity uh, and um, you know almost a bit of inspiration around how, how you can do it. And that's what that's what this particular uh, video is going to be about, right? Now there is a bit of a, a a bit of a joke here because of the way that um, Brian has used images within his report, but uh, he's he's just gone and downloaded a a whole range of um, basketball players from the NBA and used them as a placeholder for an image for some this randomly generated names that we had in the Power BI challenge. Now, if you want to see a really comprehensive write up around how Brian created this from start to finish, definitely check out the Enterprise DNA forum. I'll make sure that the link is actually placed uh, within around this video so that you can actually navigate to it straight straight away. But all you have to do is go to the forum. Uh, forum.enterprisedna.co find the project updates category and you'll find this particular write-up from Brian now and it is really detailed so Brian is just a tremendous contributor to the forum uh, uh, in so many different ways and I myself learn so much from him so I have no doubt that if you want to learn um, about many different aspects of Power BI development then definitely you want to uh, be seeing what, what Brian is actually doing uh, on our platform right now let's get back to to the report and how how it actually works. Okay, so um, and what Brian has also d done here is he's actually used uh, um, you know a lot of different visualization types. Right, he's used some custom visualizations. He's used the used the core visualization palette, etc. Now the the challenge itself was sort of like patient data set for an optician. Ops, uh, an optical um, company, company that does tests on your eyes, etc. And so, what what we really, what the stakeholders wanted to see in the brief of the challenge was they wanted to be able to see all of the patient data, but then um, also all of the appointment information. So, was there any great insights that we could gather from this data, right? And what um, looks like um, Brian decided to do was he, he decided to break out one page was for the customer, and then one page was about all of, all of the appointments, right? Now there's so many little techniques embedded into this. Into, when you look at it uh, first up, it, it seems relatively simple, right? There's there's not there's no nothing too fancy around the visualizations, etc. But what's cool about it is that there is a lot of great logic built in behind here to make this look so seamless and so um, so intuitive, right? So one of the what what. what one of the great features here is the ability to say, say, say a patient calls in or say a patient walks in the door and, and, and walks to the front desk. So what you can do within um, this report is you can say navigate to a person's name, say Adam Burns walks in the door, you can select his, uh, the, his name and then all of the details for that particular person comes up straight away, right? So you can see all of the key metrics like they're a smoker, taking their meds, driver, subsidized, private. Um, you know details about the clients, visits, so on and so forth, uh, and some other details here in a table, and also some information here around um, because we're uh, we're an op optometrist, so we're testing um, the uh, the eyes, and so we had a left eye value and a right eye value, and this represents the the historic tests that this particular person has had. So um, as we work down here, we can also select different people and you know, the images come up. Now, something you probably didn't even know, you could do this image type functionality within your report. And that's why you know this is such a high quality reporting application, right? This is embedding techniques that, you know, systems that cost thousands of dollars used to used to be able you know used to um, be the only things that used to be able to 
um, bring that information to light, right? But we can actually embed this into a Power BI report now. Now, I'm not gonna actually show you how specifically this was done because I might leave this to, to Brian because he spent a lot of time uh, working out how this actually uh, works within Power BI um, with with images and with dynamic images and dynamic shapes, etc. And so I really want uh, him to maybe do a follow-up video because he's one of the contributors um, within uh, Enterprise DNA TV to actually show you specifically how he did that. He does actually detail this uh, within the uh, forum, right? So, so within here, uh, he talks about the... Um, the custom visuals, I think. Um, report design. Yeah. Anyway, have a have a, have a look through have a look through here to, to specifically see how he how he made that work. Okay. But in terms of this filter down here with the actual name, you, you, uh, th that is a custom that is actually a custom visual. So if we come and have a look over here, you'll see that uh, this is actually I think this is a Smart Filter Pro by OK Viz. So that's a that's a cool chart. Um, let's just let's just click this actually. Yeah. So this is just this is this is really interesting. This is just a shape, right? And so there's there's a little bit of a trick to actually embedding the dynamic images sitting in behind your 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 report here. Okay. Check out also. And this is this is what I mean by all of the custom logic within uh, sitting in behind here. Even though this is rel looks relatively simplistic, look at all the measures on the right hand side here that are embedded in some way um, to the particular report. This particular um, insight here, schedule status, that is actually like a custom uh, calculation, some custom logic which is being done in behind the scenes, um, but actually being shown in a really simplistic way and in, in sort of like a table, right? Um, so if we, if we have a look uh, at the actual table itself, let's actually try to find the data point. So scheduling status, so let's have a look. Next scheduled visit. So you see, so there's a little bit of logic that has actually gone um, into this particular uh, into this particular metric, um, and, but but it is being sort of unearthed in the report, you know, in quite a simplistic way. And that's 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 what you can that, that's what one of the real powers behind Power BI, right, is the analytical logic that you can embed is you know incredibly comprehensive it can be very comprehensive but then you can you know you can visualize it in so many different ways it's almost unlimited really it's just your imagination which is holding you back now if we come to this um, appointments page there's also a unique um, embed here of images within the table itself again this is quite a unique technique but again really powerful one that I would uh, recommend reading up on um, also this calendar check out this calendar this is a custom visual calendar um, uh, what is it B BCI calendar that you can actually embed and um, utilize you know, your date field and say a calculation number of appointments let's have a look um, where's number of appointments let's have a click on here Ah, okay, so he's renamed it. So, but it's daily, daily busyness. So basically, it's it's showcasing over time, over over say a certain date time frame, how many how many patient visits are already locked in on those particular days. So again, a really uh, you know simple and easy thing to for a consumer to come in and be able to see you know what is um, what they need to see. And if we wanted to say look at a different date, we've got this again this smart filter down here, right? And so we could say okay, well I want to click on October as well. And let's have a look at what that does. Well, it, ch it changes it changes the information here. I'm not sure if it actually changed this visualization here so much. So let's get rid of it there. Okay, so you've only got to have one. You only get only have one calendar there. But anyway, again, it's quite unique, right? You're building a reporting application here. The other awesome thing that I love about um, is a lot of the challenge reports is everyone's really getting into creating unique navigations around their reports. And this is another um, you know, really cool feature that I, I highly recommend you know, making it making it easy for your consumer to navigate around, right? And use, using these simple techniques. So up here, um, you know, we've got some icons which are just navigating to different pages, right? So say we want to um, clear all you know, and clear all filters. So I can clear all filters like 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 so. Um, I can navigate back to a different page just by clicking on that icon. Um, this eye is taking me to sort of like the information page about the report. So um, Brian is 
um, details in his particular reports, he's always got a, a section which sort of details all of the different visuals, etc., that he's used. Uh, and software is used and data sources is used. So he's used basketballreference.com for those for those images, by the way. But um, okay, that's all I want to show. That's all I want to show. I, I want to give you yeah. This, this is a, this is a, this is a, a really important thing about the challenges. Um, and I know I've, I've done a lot of videos about the challenges lately, and I'm going to continue to because they're just showcasing new and different looks and feels to reports that are going to give you inspiration. Also, just amazing techniques, uh, and the variety I think is is, is fantastic, right? And um, I, I know everyone's really benefiting a lot who's participating, learning a lot, and so I just can't recommend getting involved um, more yourself uh, to you know to to you all as well. So. Uh, you know, there's the, the the challenge. The Power BI challenge is a way to challenge yourself to learn more. Okay, and so that is, uh, and yeah, that's my that, that's one one of my big my big um, big tips for uh, you know getting better at Power BI and and you know really quickly is leveraging off what others are doing, but also putting it into practice in some way. Okay, let's wrap things up. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, hopefully you like like Brian's report. You could, you know, you you're inspired now. You're inspired to 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 see how far you can take things, right? And that's the, the yeah, that's a big part of what I've been doing for years, and I want to continue to do, right? Is just to show you what you can do with Power BI. It is amazing. It is it was amazing. You know, if, if almost four years ago when I started started um, really diving well, when I started Enterprise DNA, and uh, it's it's amazing now with all of the additions that have been that have been made. Okay, definitely. Um, if you can throw the video a like, really appreciate it. Always as always. And don't forget to subscribe uh, for some great content coming up very, very soon. Okay, all the best.